so our current thinking around the reseed project is that it's an internet of things type concept around situational awareness in the urban or built environment with a um, with direct application to tactical in, um, situation awareness. So providing data streams, analysis, decision-making technologies that enable the warfighter or people who are in uh, situations where they need to make fast decisions about a complex scenario, not just complex from the perspective of the threats that are that they're being exposed to, but a uh, complex environment in terms of all the things that can disrupt their awareness of what those threats might be. The reseed concept is a is a system where we have a where we have hardware, we have a backbone computational digital twin of our urban setting, and we have software platforms that are deployable and hardened and rugged and ruggedized for individuals in those situations of urgency and need for immediate information. It's a Grand Challenge project because um, it is absolutely massive in scope and its ambition. And it brings together several technologies that the laboratory has already invested in, um, in different centers throughout the laboratory. Um, one of the technologies that we have is in the computational side of things, um, not just our ability to simulate um, the signal response in complicated urban built environments, but also how to um, interpret those responses in terms of what's out there or what stuff is made of or where someone or something may be. We have, we've been investing steadily over the last several decades in this, in this capability, and we've made some absolutely monumental breakthroughs in the last couple of years that are really just opening up a new world of opportunity to us about what um, we can do um, in terms of forward simulation and data analysis. That's the first pillar that this is built on. We developed this technology called hyper differential sensitivity analysis. And what that does is it, it leverages all the technologies we've developed over the years in feeding strain optimization. And then we do some complicated mathematics to, to identify which uncertainty is most relevant to the solution of your optimization problem. The second pillar that Reseed is built on leverages the geothermal department here at Sandia. So we specialize in building compact, low power sensing and signal um, distribution systems that can be put in these uh, geothermal systems, which themselves are characterized by high pressure, high temperatures, very difficult um, kind of operational constraints in terms of form factor and like what's available for you to do what you need to do. And so we're taking those technologies from the geothermal world of building absolutely ruggedized hardware and applying them to what we anticipate is the hostile urban environment and um, building upon our expertise in geothermal is is not just the sensible thing to do it's something we have a track record in doing the third pillar that we have comes from the computational world and the massive investment that we've had in machine learning and what's called neuromorphic computing. And so these low power ruggedized sensors that we build for the borehole environment are absolutely adaptable in their form factor, in the way that they can be shaped and packaged. And we can put these neuromorphic computing elements on them, which are the hardware equivalent of the machine learning algorithms that we build over in, um, in 1400 in, in 1000. There's no other technology out there that does this. No other technology can can solve a large scale optimization problem and and handle large number of uncertainties with complicated physics. Our, our, our minds were very much kind of focused on those geo applications. But as we started to think about, uh, it made sense in this last year to pivot towards a less geologic problem and one that is more um, uh, tactical. We, we face very unique challenges at Sandia that you don't see anywhere else in academia or in industry problems that require 
a whole range of expertise, a whole range of different elements like hardware, like, like sensing, like numerical capabilities. And we've just, historically, we've just been developing all these technologies that are coming together now to solve some very complicated problems. And it, I don't think you have that capability anywhere else but San Diego.